Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make my vegan snack. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let's get to it. You want to start off by having you some tortilla wraps. Um, mine's are made with quinoa flour. You don't have to have those in particular. You get you a bell pepper, uh, avocado, you want to get you a green pepper. Also, you want to get you an onion. You want to get you some garlic. You want to get you some smoked sage sausages, apple sausages, plant based. You want to get you some spring mix. You want to get you some diet brand cheese and also some baby bell mushrooms. You wanna start off by cutting your bell pepper. Like to slice them in the thin slices like that. Then you wanna start by cutting your green pepper. Cut it right down the middle like that. Again, you could cut yours in cubes, stick slices, doesn't matter, it's totally optional. Then you want to cut your onion. I'll just use a half onion. I like to cut them in thin slices so I could taste every flavor and every bite. Then you want to cut you a piece of garlic. Not too much, I'm gonna use like two to three pieces. Maybe four. Dice your garlic up into nice little cubes. Now you want to cut your sausages open. I'm only going to use two sausages for this. Um, if you cook it for more people, you can use as much sausage as you like. Let's peel them open like this. Dice them up into nice thin slices. That's how I like mine. You can cut them into big chunks. It's totally up to you. Now that that's done, you wanna take out your baby bell mushrooms. Then you will rinse them off thoroughly. After rinsing, they should look like this. Now you wanna warm your skillet and take some olive oil. You can use any oil, I'm just using olive oil. Start off by cooking the vegetables first. Start off with the peppers. You want to cook them till they get a nice brown caramelized color. It should look like this. After cooking for four to five minutes. Now I'm just going to add my onions. I like to cook all the onions in a 
peppers together. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more olive oil because it's starting to soak inside of the vegetable. So. Now it should look like this. We're almost getting that brownish color that I'm looking for. It should look just like this. Beautiful. Amazing. Now that they have the color that I was looking for, it should look just like this. Now I'm just going to take them out of the pot and place them right in this bowl just for now. Okay. Now I'm going to start getting ready to cook my smoked apple sage sausages. Put a little olive oil. Skillet's already warm. Now I'm going to cook the sausages. Let them brown a little. I'm looking for a nice crispy brown, and then I will add my portobello mushrooms on top. They should look like this after a good five to six minutes. Now I'm going to place my portobello mushrooms inside the skillet. I like to add them on top at first. I don't want them to cook right away. They cook fast already, so I don't want them to cook right away. Then just add a little bit, a little drizzle of olive oil over it. Just mix it around like that. And now when they're done, they should look like this. Now when I get them like this, I'm just going to Pour the peppers and the onions right back in there, just to let them, let it all marinate together. So I get all them flavors jumping in at one time. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle my garlic all in there. Just have a flavor party, just like that. Okay. I'm just gonna mix it all around. It should look like this after three to five minutes. Just mix it all around. Now, I'm just gonna season it. 21 seasoning salute. I'm just gonna use some pink Himalaya sea salt. Just gonna use some ground black pepper. Again, you can get the 21 seasoning salute at Trader Joe's. Now you're gonna take your avocado, cut it right down the middle. You can use two, you could use one, you could use three. I'm using two because I'm cooking for multiple people, not just myself. You wanna slice it down the middle like this. I like to come on in cubes just like this. Makes it much easier to scoop out. Now you just want to mash up your avocado so you can use it as a spread. Now it's time to put the cheese on. This is the fun part. I'm going to open your dye your brand cheese up. I'm going to sprinkle some cheese all around. Put as much cheese as you like. 
that should be enough for now. I'm just gonna mix it in. Just like that. If you like me, you love cheese, you wanna just make sure it's cheese all through it. That should look like this. After you mix it around with the cheese in it. Now I'm just gonna do one more light sprinkle and cover it up. Till I dress my wrap. It should look like this. When it's done, look how cheesy that thing looks. Amazing. Now I'm gonna take my avocado spread. And just spread it all around my rut. Put as much as you want. You can put a little, you can put a lot, it's totally up to you. Just pour some lightly inside of the wrap. When you're done, it should look like this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. So beautiful, so colorful, so amazing. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like and subscribe for more content. Guys, hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see next. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless. Looks delicious. I'm going to give it a try. See you guys in the next video. Peace.